Hi everyone, hope you're well. Just before today's video starts, I want to say a quick thank you to Catherine Lee, Michael Jones and Paul Taylor. They have all made a donation towards the channel, which is fantastic. Um, if you do want to make a donation and you don't know how to, you just go to the YouTube um, banner on my main page and in the bottom right hand corner of the banner where it says unusual things there is a little button that says donate and the money just goes towards the petrol to enable me to travel to these places because I do do a lot of traveling to go and make these videos so if you want to you're more than welcome to it doesn't have to be much at all you put as much or as little as you want to but it all goes towards the fuel to enable me to go and travel anyway enjoy the video please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you all soon make sure you enjoy Enjoy. Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things and I am back in Highgate Cemetery today um, looking around at some well-known grave and I'm just on the lookout now for, and I think I've found it Alexander Litvinenko. And that's him there. The most common picture you see of Alexander is where he's got no hair and he's in a hospital bed. Now Alexander Litvinenko was born on the 4th of December 1962 and passed away on the 23rd of November 2006. Uh, to the world you are one person, but to one person you are the world. Now, Alexander was a Russian defector and he um, he came to the UK because he kept getting arrested because he was speaking out against Putin in Russia and um, he managed to escape. And when he got to the UK and he decided to tell some secrets and start speaking a little bit, shall we say, um, Putin didn't like it. So, he did what he does. And this poor guy here was poisoned um, and had a slow, painful death, which is horrible. But that's the regime in which he works, isn't it? And it's such a, such a shame, such a waste of life. But hey, you're always gonna have the Putins in this world, aren't you? Yeah. Rest in peace, Alexander. And I hope we got some vital information that can help fight his war and help fight what he was standing for when he defected. It's not a sunny day. I feel like I'm watching a game of tennis though. Honestly, my head is just like not knowing where to look and you see one and you think is that is that someone that maybe you guys would be interested in there's one there um nick price artist but i don't know who nick price is so but i could go around you know i'm sure all of them have their their occupations written in there One there's a doctor, you know. So uh, yeah, I'm, I won't read them. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. So here's um, Gene Simmons' grave. Gene Simmons, actress, 1929 to 2010. Swift as the night, I flew my fairy flight, ecstatically moved and feared my no mm. night. Now Gene Simmons, of course was in the film Spartacus, amongst many others. Now I know she, Jean Simmons there. Uh, I know she was a big actress in her day, but I only know her from Spartacus as, uh, as, as bad as that sounds, I should know a bit more, but hey. But again, tennis, looking around, just met another couple of people in here and the lady said it's her fifth time of coming here so, I mean the thing is with this place is it's just like I think it's got like 170,000 
graves in it or something like that. Man Fong Mei, Professor Chinese person of medicine. Now I'm looking for Bob Hoskins because I know he's in here somewhere, but whether he's here or on the other side, I think he's in this side. But um trying to find him. <laughs> it's another at least it's not raining. At least it's uh, nice and nice and sunny. And I've just seen the headstone of um, a well-known footballer, actually. Hugo Egiog. He was a great footballer and he passed away in 2017 and uh, he had a heart attack. I think he was like 46, 45, something like that. Here's another part. Now I'm just filming some extra bits for you guys because it's interesting. Looks like a scene out of a uh, Walking Dead or something. I think my running shoes would come into good use if you start opening up. People come out of them. <laughs> Now, usually, of course, with a cemetery, you never pay to get in, but with Highgate, um, I suppose because of the prestigeness of it and where it is and the upkeep of it, it has lots of volunteers here, but they charge you £10 to come into the west side, but you do get the east side included within that price. Whereas if you just want to go to the east side, then um, there's no no fee whatsoever. It's amazing over there, isn't it? Really nice. Do you want to say hello to my YouTube channel? <laughs> hello. hello. These two lovely people are walking around and just having a uh, a good look at um, again same sort of thing that I'm doing really, having a good look at different graves. Paths. Now I'm not sure if you're allowed down these paths or not. Seem to be some signs have a no entry sign on there. Wow, look at this. That's crazy, isn't it? Squirrels over there. That's the first squirrel I've seen in here actually. Here he is. Hi guys, so now I've come over to the um east side of Highgate. Just gonna have a look around, see who we can find in here. So when I was in the um, the west side, I bumped into two of the volunteers that work here and I asked them if they could point me in the right direction of Bob Hoskins' grave, but they said no. <laughs> really helpful. But then they did turn around to me and say, it's in a private area, so um, so yeah, so we couldn't couldn't go there. Now I'm just having a look down this area. There's so many little nooks and crannies in this place. It's so big, but um, I'm looking for someone. I won't tell you who yet, um, but if I find them, then obviously. I'll let you know. Jeremy Beadle. He was going for a laugh. Jeremy Beadle, look at that, that's massive. Let's have a look, Jeremy Beadle, MBE. April the 12th, 1948 to January the 30th, that's my birthday, 2008, writer, presenter, curator of oddities, Ask My Friends. Wow. Now, Jeremy Beadle, um, 
was a very, very intelligent man. And he presented a lot of game shows. That's probably where he's known for, not game shows as in game shows, but game shows as in playing practical jokes on people and having a bit of a laugh, which was great. And he was good at it. He was, you know, it was what he was known for. But he used to write quizzes as well for a lot of quiz shows. Um, and he's written many, many books, hence why. It's weird because you can't really get how big this is. Right, I'm... Look, I'm going to turn the camera. But it's like sort of like up to there. It's it's a big, big set of books on that grave. Um, but yeah, getting back to him, he was well known for his um, pranks and but you know things like Game for a Laugh, Beatles about, but an accomplished writer too. Now I've just spotted the grave next to it, and I'm going to have to look this one up because the name's sticking out with me, Pat Kavanagh. I don't know why. So if I look into it and I find out what it is, I'll put it on the screen or I'll do a voiceover over the top. But Kavanagh is sticking with me for some reason. And it's just, I don't know. You know where things just sort of hit you and you're like, hmm. Um, yeah, Beadle, brilliant guy. Wow. Okay, also in along here is... This guy, Malcolm Robert Andrew McLaren, 1946 to 2010. Better a, spectac spect better a spectacular failure than a benign success. Ah, some drumsticks on the top look, wow. RIP Sid, Big Fab American Classic, Malcolm McLaren. <sighs> wow. Now, for those of you, for those of you that didn't know, Malcolm McLaren managed Sex Pistols. Um, he was a big influence in the music industry. Um, another one, he was he was um, into music, fashion, everything really, anything and everything. Back in the day, Malcolm McLaren had his name to it. Producer, um, a bizarre character, but you know, if that's your cup of tea, then fine. And a lot of people love the Sex Pistols, and he was responsible for getting them out there into the mainstream, which uh, <laughs> I don't know if he regretted afterwards, but yeah, Malcolm McLaren. It's bizarre who you find in these places, isn't it? I love it, I love cemeteries anyway, as you know. Okay, come along here, and we probably have one of the most famous graves, if not the most famous grave. Karl Marx. <laughs> the philosophers have only interpreted the world in the various ways. The point, however, is to change it. Jenny von Wurst, Wurstfalen, the beloved wife of Karl Marx, born 12th of February 1814, died the 2nd December 1881 and Karl Marx born May the 5th 1818 and died the 14th of May 1883 and Harry Long Longuet their grandson born 4th of July 1878 died March 20th 1883 and Helena de Muth born January 1st 1823 Dubai, died sorry November 4th of November 1890 and Eleanor Marx daughter of Karl Marx born January 16th 1856 and died March the 31st, 1898. Wow, that's huge. Now, I've just been looking for Roger Lloyd Pack's grave, and he played Trigger in Only Fools and Horses. So many of you, well, I was going to say British people, but worldwide, it was, um, and still is, played everywhere. And it's such um, an icon of British humour. And it's so funny to this day. And uh, he sadly passed away in 2014, so it's eight years ago now. And uh, I've just found his grave. Here we have it. Roger Lloyd Pack, actor, 1944 to 2014. Find me at the crossroads where old ghosts meet. Love of my life on Hooky Street. Wow. And he's quite a hard one to find. He's literally packed and amongst all 
these graves around here and quite a bit of dense land really. Whew, this one was a bit of a tester. I had to, I've been walking around here for ages, looking everywhere to try and find it, but now I'm so glad that I did. I've got it and uh, what an amazing actor. And uh, I'll put in the clip now at the bar if you haven't seen it with him and Dowboy. It's been a long one this morning, but worth it. Um, seen some good graves, some really famous people and uh, some icons and yeah, some sports people. It's been a good, good visit. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment down below with any of the graves that I've been to see. Leave me a message or, you know, if you're a fan of any of them or you wanted to know where they were, then uh, please feel free just to get in contact. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe to the channel as well. Help me keep it growing and uh, press the old thumbs up like button. Other than that, that's it. That's me leaving High Great, Highgate even, East Cemetery. And I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Ta-da.